The Al Faris International School in Riyadh was established in 2004 as a co-educational private school. Accredited by the International Baccalaureate as an IB World School, today it has more than 2,275 enrolled students for the current academic year. We're joined by the school's founder, director and owner, Sahar Hamed al Mazuki, to find out more. Sahar, you opened the Al Faris International School nearly 20 years ago now, at a time when the landscape was really quite different for business women in the country. Can you tell us about how and why you did this, what the school's main goals are, and what your journey has been like up to this point? Actually, it was very hard. By the 20 years ago, there was, uh, for this field, of being a, a lady in this field, so it was very hard. Definitely now it's easier because of His Royal Highness and the support he's giving to the ladies. And I want to speak about my main goals is the right to have quality of education in Saudi Arabia, development goal, global uh, citizens having international line and student. This is, was my goal. Wonderful. And, and what about your journey so far? I mean, it's been 18 years. Um... It was actually, it was a very difficult journey. And by that time, being a lady, and uh, in this field, there were there were it was a man's field. And there was no support as you see now, and it was a very difficult journey. And sometimes um, going through these hiccups makes you stronger and makes you want to go forward. Which if you're gonna ask me twenty years ago, if if this is happening in Saudi Arabia and His Royal Highness is giving us this support, I don't think I would have believed that it's a dream come true. So it was a very difficult journey. Oh, that's wonderful. So what in that time have been some of the school's biggest achievements and what are you most proud of? Uh, I am proud of being an IB1 continuous school. We have I, uh, PYP, MYPDP. We did it in an accredited time, two years. We took a first place in Tim's all around the Saudi Arabia and this prize was, I was so proud being the first prize and opening the first international school in the live museum of Saudi Arabia Al Ula is one of our greatest achievements. So one of the areas most affected by the COVID-19 pandemic has of course been education. It's, uh, it's been an incredible couple of years. What's your take on the steady shift towards online learning? Um, actually, I think this is, was a very hard time for schools and students. Uh, as we are fast, we didn't struggle a lot because our students were uh, online all we had a program that they have online and school so it was very easy for us to ship but if you're gonna ask me and say was that an easy uh, ride no it was a very difficult ride it's very hard to see schools empty without of kids students and that pandemic was very difficult for for us as educators as of al Faris, we did better than others because we we were very strong on on internet and online education so the effect was better than, than other schools, but still the effect globally was not easy on students and teachers themselves. Mm, very true. Um, do you see yourself going, going forward with online learning? Is that something you're gonna continue doing? Actually, we always had online uh, education. We did have some of classes online. I do believe is mixing and matching the online and having the kids in school but I'm against being pure online for especially the lower elementary. These kids need to be in school. It's better for older students, the MYP and DP program. So looking at the wider vision and the, the wider economy, um, how is the Al Faris International School aligning its strategy with the Saudi vision for 2030? Actually, one of the pillars of Saudi uh, 2030 vision is to work on education. So one of their pillars are education. They want to hire our education. They want to upgrade it. So one of the visions of Al Faris International School is to work online with it, especially we're an IB school. We're working on global citizens. So we're working aligned with this vision. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck with that. It's been fabulous speaking to you. Thank you.